Good afternoon, traders. It is Monday, March 21st, 2016, and the U.S. stock market is closed. Well, hey, those of you uh, that are following me uh, on the social media know that I posted that I'm taking a couple days off from posting. I'm not taking a couple days off from trading. I got a combination of things. Uh, first of all, I started getting some minor errors with my data this morning. And so I realized I was just going to have to basically go back and delete a bunch of data um, in my old software and give that two days to uh, uh, refill uh, the data I need to start getting good signals and good charts again. So that's going to be Monday and Tuesday. But in addition to that, I have a, a, big, a, a new big account that I'm going to be opening, and I have a lot of work to do with that. So, And obviously I don't want to have um, bad data when I start trading that. So... I'm not going to be posting, um, well I didn't post today, I won't post tomorrow, I'll be back uh, doing uh, good posts on Wednesday, hopefully good uh, markets as well. Hey, we had a good day today though, <clears throat> I am, um, I'm doing all my real time trading and I basically uh, use my other platforms to do that. You're looking at uh, multi-charts right now. It's a very good platform. And then, of course, I also trade off of uh, TradeStation 9.5. So it's no problem for me to know what to do and to trade and everything else um, in spite of the fact I'm having uh, data problems in one of the other platforms and that's going to be all patched up um, and patched up correctly uh, by uh, Wednesday morning. Anyway, you're looking at the Dow here. Oh, hey, I'll, I'll show you. <laughs> I'll show you the Dow on uh, my old software. You can see what the problem is here. This big gap is not real time I just I had to take that data out of there but you can see here where we were today we're up here and you can see another red line of resistance that we've run into we're above uh, uh, 17 6 now and um, you know the Dow just kind of uh, uh, wrapped itself like a snake around this uh, new red line Probably having a little resistance there, uh, but boy, we've come a long ways. Look at this all down here. Um, but let me go back. This is this is multi charts, and this shows the whole Dow, but I don't have the resistance lines in here. But basically, uh, the Dow ended up closing up. 21 points is basically going sideways here. You know, uh, I might look at this and say, well, it's kind of running out of steam up here. Maybe I should call it down. But you know something? This is a very powerful market. And uh, I think what may happen, we could get another consolidation day here, but whether we get a consolidation day tomorrow uh, or it breaks out, I believe it's going to break to the top side. So I am going to call it up. I'm going to call it up. Uh, we had, we, we um, closed out about $5,000 in closeout trades today. Pretty good, pretty good there. And we got into new stuff, and we're carrying about $6,000 positive going into tomorrow. So it wasn't a spectacular day, but a, a good solid day. You know, we 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 very pleased with that. And I'll just show you a couple of the trades we had. And again, um, 
I have to do this on multi charts but uh, it's a pretty good program I'm showing you OVA Science which was the big performer today and <clears throat> we uh, had bought this on Friday uh, about the second hour it, it uh, didn't do anything spectacular for us by the close but it had big push up on the open the, this morning and we ended up getting out of over science with uh, five point five thousand dollars in profit and we closed out there and then the darn thing scream unfortunately after we get out it starts to scream again we get back in here quite a bit higher than where we had gotten out but it kept screaming and up here this second Ovis, this re-entry trade on Ovis is up over $5,000 up here. It did pull back. looked horrible back here, but it came out of this dive. But it's still closed quite a bit below this high. But it still is showing us up um, $3,000 positive in Ovis Science. So, you know, 5000 plus three. Yeah, that's about 8000 Over Science, great trade. Now, I want to show you another one. Again, I am showing this to you on multi-charts. So the charts are a little bit different. This is GWPH. You may remember that from one week ago today. And this is where we were one week ago. We got into this fabulous trade, the biggest trade of my trading career. We got out of here, I think, with about 68000 from here to here in just one overnight trade. Um, Multicharts does this weird re-entry thing. There was a small loss here on a re-entry, and then we've been basically out of it as... Uh, um, GW Pharmaceuticals was just kind of moving sideways but it popped up today we got long and then it kept going and so even though this trade from here to here doesn't look like too much when we look over here we are still up uh, $3.6 thousand dollars positive on GW Pharmaceuticals GWPH. So this has been a great stock for us, no question about it. Anyway, that is the way it went on Monday, and uh, this is Trader Bob. I will put up a video tomorrow uh, night, and then on Wednesday I'm going to be up uh, doing uh, a lot more posting again. You guys have a great evening. See you tomorrow.